But I think I would like the I'd like people to remember um, that um, that before Denver started out, is there was a um, there was a group of people that were already living here, and um, and those people were Indian, or people more commonly know them as, know them as American Indian, and um, my ancestors from the Cheyenne Arapaho tribe. Um, or the Cheyenne tribe uh, were part of part of the people that lived here before Denver was a city. When Denver broke ground for the new airport, they found bones. My grandfather was asked to bless the grounds because my ancestors were buried there. They say home is where the heart is, but for me, home is where my ancestors' hearts are. In 1952, the federal government initiated the Urban Indian Relocation Program. This program was designed to help Native Americans from the reservation to the city, where the jobs supposedly were plentiful. My grandparents moved to Denver from the Cheyenne and Arapaho Reservation in Oklahoma in 1959 as part of this program. My grandparents purchased a little two-bedroom house on Hooker Street and lived there the rest of their lives. My grandpa found a job at Rocky Flats and my grandma was a stay-at-home mom where she loved to do beadwork. My grandma would take me to the Denver Museum of Nature and Science where she taught beading classes. She was well known for her excellent beadwork and she once made a fully beaded guitar strap for John Denver. My grandpa's great-grandfather, Chief Talbull of the Southern Cheyenne Tribe, was the leader of the Dog Soldiers Society an elite group of warriors within the tribe. My grandfather was well known for working with the state and local communities and he received many awards for his diligence in promoting awareness of Native American Indian history, traditions, and culture. In the summertime, I would come down from Montana to Denver and stay with my grandparents in their little two-bedroom house. I remember when I would arrive in Denver and get out of the car and smelling the city. It was so different from the smell of the country. We lived so close to Old Mile High Stadium that I can remember sitting in the backyard and being able to hear the fans cheer when the Broncos would score. I can remember playing at Sanchez Park and placing pennies on the railroad tracks and having the train squish the pennies out like pancakes. I eventually moved to Denver after I graduated from high school and now make Denver my permanent home. Again. Not realizing that this area was where my ancestors lived and are buried, I still have trouble expressing my emotions and my feelings when talking about imagine a great city. Ten years ago, in 1999, we began a healing of our hearts from the scars of the past and started the annual Sand Creek Spiritual Healing Run to remember and honor my ancestors that were killed at Sand Creek in southeastern Colorado on November 29, 1864. We do the run not just for the Cheyenne and Rappel people, but for non-natives, for the city of Denver, and the state of Colorado, and for me. Home is where the heart is. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, hey.